Hey guys, um, it's Wednesday. I know I normally start vlogging on a Tuesday, but I took my camera out with me and I went to start vlogging and there was no memory card. I had left it in the laptop when I was editing the vlog, so <laughs> we're starting on a Wednesday. <laughs> but yesterday I just met up with a friend, um, Christina, and we were shooting and we caught up, had coffee and it was a pretty chill day and Patty was actually over in, is it East Midlands for work? So he flies back today. Also, our stone top for our island arrives today, so I'm very excited. I wanted to get everything out of the way before they came because that would have been really awkward <laughs> in the filming process. So I filmed this purple lilac makeup, so it will be live by the time this vlog is live. This uh, tank top is from ASOS, and I think it was like either 11 pounds or under 10 pounds, but I thought it was really cute, and I got it in a size large because this material does not stretch, and everything's just growing from here to my belly, so <laughs> I needed the extra space, but I thought it was really pretty, and I thought I could get some wear out of it with tucking it into like um, silk skirts or, um, I don't know, even like tight midi skirts, um, and I can also wear it postpartum as well because the baby will be here literally at the start of summer, so it's kind of a perfect little top but really really a fan of this if you want to know everything that's on my face just go watch the video because I like it <laughs> guys guess what was installed today <gasps> I am so happy with it so so pleased so let me walk you through what's gonna be the situation we are using two original um, brushed gold kind of looks like lanterns they were out in the hallway if you guys remember and we're gonna put them above the island here it's like the similar colors that we have accented throughout the kitchen and um, you can see the color a little bit more authentic authentically um, now it's called old moss by Potter's paint the top is oh I think it's yeah, quartz, so it is a man-made stone, so it's easy to wash away anything that just gets on it, whereas our countertop is a granite, which is a natural stone, which is a lot harder to wash away. You can, but you have to like really scrub. Lamont's gives you like a kit, so that's great. But um, both the tops are from Lamont's, if you wanna know if you're from Northern Ireland. But I'm so happy we're getting, I think it could fit five, like pretty well too. So two stools here, and then on this side there can fit three. In the meantime, um, I am working with a company I mentioned in my last vlog to create some like fabric backed <laughs> stools, bar stools, but I just picked up uh, from Argos, I believe, two for like 30 quid uh, wooden little seat stools. So I bought four of them and they're just gonna do us until like March until the other ones are ready, but oh, I love it. Like such a nice workspace to like look out in and it's just so beautiful. I am so, so, so pleased with it. Love the hardware. It's just simple, sleek, but there's so much storage and it's just such a big work top to like prep food, cook, and then also to just hang out, like five seats. It's kind of like our kitchen table and that's what I wanted. It was a long time coming, but I couldn't be more pleased. So Patty, thoughts on the island? Perfect. <laughs> also, this is the stool from Argos. Patty's obviously sitting on the other one, and then the other two will be uh, ready for collection tomorrow. So, works for now, perfect height, and two for 30 pounds, can't go wrong. So, we're celebrating by having a Chinese because we were at your sister's earlier. I had a bubble in my throat. <laughs> Are you laughing at that? It's way bigger than I thought. Is it? I'm gonna put the brightness up. What would you like? You want some ham? Yes, mommy. What would you like, Olive? Um, Please? Okay, how about you finish the ham in your mouth first? Um, <laughs> your dinner's in the oven, it's just taking a little bit. Sorry. Yeah, we're gonna go see Eli and Liv. Um, it is, what day is it, Olive? Is it Thursday? <laughs> it's Thursday. Um, we've had a really chill morning. Patty was at a different location than Belfast, so we all got a little bit of a sleep in. Yes, we didn't have porridge, we had toast this morning. Porridge. Do you want porridge now? No. No, okay. 
Uh, we're gonna visit my friend Sarah and Christina and all the babies. It's like a little daycare at Sarah's house. She has so many toys. <laughs> I always feel bad coming back to ours. I'm like, yeah, we're gonna see Liv and Eli. And um, there's <laughs> like just bucks for Olive. We don't buy her toys because there's no point. Like she goes through, through seasons. You don't want to see them. <laughs> oh, too bad we're here. <laughs> it's been a little bit of a minute. Patty has rugby practice tonight because he's um, helping out with a game on Saturday. So it's me and this one tonight until late. We were at Home Bargains because we had to pick up some uh, activity books for <laughs> the girls, Zoe and Olive. And I saw these little brushes there. They're really cute. They're like uh, synthetic, like, Real Technique lookalikes. I got three different ones, so I think they were like from $1.99 to like $2.39 in price. Can't complain. Um, nothing super exciting. Uh, I don't have Patty here tonight, so I don't think I'll really be able to vlog because I have to bathe all up, get her ready for bed, and then when I put her down, I have to get the video live, so focus. I need to be focused, so I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good night. Happy Friday, everyone. It's almost the end of Friday. It's literally like 2 p.m. I am only just home because I was taking care of my sister-in-law's kids, Zoe and Gabriel, um, for Jane, which was so great. So three kids, all under three, or three and under. So it was a, a lot of attention required, whereas I didn't vlog at all. And it's just, you know, it's just Friday. It's just chill. Fridays have changed a lot since getting married and having kids. And I love them, I do. A couple of you were asking my tanning routine. So I actually do put a tan on like every other week and I'm doing one for this event that's coming on Monday. So I think I'm gonna put up this vlog on Tuesday because I wanna get everything in. So that's why I'm not vlogging too much yesterday and today because I know Sunday and Monday will be full with footage and stuff so uh tonight i'm going to take a shower and i just honestly like shave and really exfoliate my body because tomorrow i'll put on my tan and i'll show you guys like what i use and what i use to apply and how so see you guys tomorrow happy yeah. saturday everyone we are out at harry shack we love it here for burgers and fish and chips. It's really good and it's literally on the sea in Port Stewart. So I highly recommend if you're gonna come visit. It's one of our favorite places. But we're here for breakfast, which I don't think we've been here for breakfast. I've been for coffee and like a scone, but not breakfast. Miss Olive over here. No, that is What do you want to say to everyone, Olive? I did. You're playing a game. <laughs> you're funny. We decided to get the cinnamon french toast with maple syrup and I added bacon. This bacon looks incredible. Weird with me this pregnancy. Guys, not dirt under my nails by the way. It's just my manicure. <laughs> um, normally I go for like the savory option but I've been loving sweet. It was like that with olive too. Um, and Patty got like a savory breakfast bath. So. The Bally Remore relish. <laughs> with the relish. And Olive has some bacon because she already had her porridge at home. We don't normally eat this much bacon every day, but it's the weekend. Is that yummy? Yeah. <laughs> Is it hot? Did you blow on it first? Go. Good girl. Yeah, that's better. I'm still wearing a towel, <laughs> just so you know. And um, the mousse that I've been using and loving is the Be Perfect, um, it's a, what is it, strawberry 10 second one. So good, I think there's like the normal formula, this one just has a different scent, so the Be Perfect 10 second is the same thing, this just has the strawberry scent, which obviously I love, it's limited edition though, unfortunately. Really good, I wear it overnight, even though it says 10 second, it dries really quickly, which I love, which makes it really easy to just put it on. I do have the shade Medium Dark, it's natural and organic, active ingredients, totally safe to use while pregnant. So this has kind of been my go-to for the last, like well before Christmas, like I have like, I think this is my last use to be honest, but I have another bottle. And um, what I really love though, is after I do like all my tanning, like I prepped yesterday, so I shaved, exfoliated everything in the shower, and then today I do my, you know, actual mousse application. Um, I tend not to actually put like creams on because I really moisturize after my shower that my skin feels hydrated. And maybe like I put on a little bit this morning, but nothing like 
immediately right before I do it just because I feel like it slides and it doesn't actually like adhere to my skin. But after I leave this on overnight, which you don't have to, I just like it to give like the full darkness so that it can reach. And um, I have three different things that I feel like make the tan just look a little bit extra and like my skin looks like perfect. So these are like my hero products and kind of all for different reasons. So let's go about this one first. This is a Bella Miata Flawless Filter Body Makeup. There's not a lot left in this. This has like the tiniest bit of sheen left and you put it on areas that are gonna be showing for like an event. So if like your arms are the main focus, then you put it on and it just gives like the most beautiful flawless filter, hence the name, but it does have a little bit of a shimmer in it. It would lean a little bit more to the warmer side of brown. So if you prefer like an olive -y color, you might not like this one as much. Although this one, this is the Be Perfect Golden Hour Glow. I put this on the other day because I was shooting in a short dress and my legs were kind of patchy from like my vacation so I needed something to even them out and I hadn't used it yet. I bought this before Christmas for 15 pounds. Oh my goodness, it is so dark. So if you're really scrambling and you didn't do a tan the night before and you just need something on the areas that are showing, wow, this is gonna give you a couple shades darker, but it does give like a beautiful soft glow. This one is definitely a little bit more shimmery than this one, but this one is definitely darker. But my favorite for blurring like imperfections and your skin, like your body, parts that have this on, like just look airbrushed. This is the Vita, Vita Liberata Body Blur. Oh my gosh, this is, I think my second bottle I've gone through. It's amazing. It's in the shade Latte. I'm not sure if there's other shades, but I have the shade Latte. It doesn't have a shimmer. It is like a, a skin-like finish, like not a matte, but not a, it's like a satin finish, let's just say, but it's literally like a body foundation, but it doesn't budge. That one's amazing, but enough jabber. I just wanted to talk because I feel like that's my like little trick and top tip because yes, as much as like putting this on, it's a great base, but sometimes you get patchy areas if you had some dry areas or, you know, if you're in a rush, you don't get every area perfectly. And these three products for different reasons are amazing. I'll link them all below. I'm not affiliated with any brand. I'm just talking about my favorites here. So I'm gonna do this. Two pumps, why not? I'm gonna move over. I'm gonna actually turn you a little bit because I need to look in the mirror, obviously. Okay. Starting with my arm. Patty already did my back, so I'm not too worried about blending that in. But just work in circular motions. I go light-handed over dry areas, aka my elbow, so and also my armpit. But most of the mousse is like on the top part, shoulder. Moving on to the collarbone. Also, don't forget your neck. I like to put my arm in like every position in the mirror to make sure I didn't miss any areas, only because I have in the past, especially like right here is one you can miss. So just make sure you give it a double check. And then that is like the mitt, like basically done. There's probably a little bit on it. So whatever's on it, make a claw with my hand and blend it into the top and then lightly rub it down. I think I claw my hand like this so that I get the cr creases like at your knuckles because if you go like this and then it dries and you go like that, you have the white creases. So give it a little pat. Also like to do a little bit right here as well. And that kind of just gives like a natural finish. You can use a brush, but I don't have one. So that is one coat you can see. I'll take this off so you can see the difference already it just looks a little bit more bronzed and tan where this side doesn't <laughs> let me do the other side That is two pumps on each side, so four pumps fully. If I wanted to be a little bit darker, I would go in with like another pump, which for the video's sake, I'm just gonna show you. So instead of like swirling it, I kind of just like tap it on the areas I want a little extra darkness, which is normally like my collarbone and the tops of my shoulders. So gotta move quick with it. 
Not that it's gonna dry fully, but just a little bit of extra bronze. Now you're probably thinking, are you not gonna do your face? And for a long time, I actually never did. I feel like I just need to like go up here so you know. You guys know there's a towel on. Um, for a long time, I actually never did tan my face because a lot of moose tans always broke me out. It just like clogged my pores and then it looked like I had blackheads in my pores wasn't for it so one of my absolute favorite face tans is the Garnier Ombre Soleil Natural Bronzer Soft Tan Mist. This is a body one because of the exact same ingredients as the face one but get the bigger one because you're actually spending less and getting more so top tip there but I'm not using this. I'm only going to use this one because it's newer and I've been loving it lately. It's the Sosu Suzanne Jackson Dripping Gold uh, water wonder and it's in medium dark. They have a light medium, but I got the medium dark this face tan I kept it with me in Florida and like, I just topped up because I always wore SPF on my face It is so good. I love it. it doesn't clog my pores doesn't break me out and it gives such a beautiful like face tan So this is what I spray on my face I never put a mousse tan on my face if you're like me oily skin acne prone and you can like break out from like trying new things don't put face tan or body tans on your face. Get like a face specific tan. I think it makes the world of a difference. So kind of hold it here and then go for it. All right, literally that's it. So I'm just gonna let this all dry, put on baggy clothes that I don't mind maybe a little bit of transfer and see you guys in the morning when it looks like I just got back from the Bahamas. Hey guys, it is Sunday. I have a little friend here. You look really small in the viewfinder. <laughs> We have <laughs> we have just made it to Dublin. We're staying at the Hendrick and Smithfield. Very kind of them to um, invite us here. This is my second time staying. I came before when I was here for the, um, I actually have the perfume, Stories perfume lunch in the Harvey, is it Harvey? Or not? Oh, I'm the worst at names. Anyways, <laughs> we're here because tomorrow I am going to be a hair model for Sue Tyrell. She is an educational hairdresser, a real celebrity in balayage and root shadowing and all that. So she's going to be doing my hair, which I think she's just like brightening it up and then shadow rooting. I don't really know. I guess we'll find out. But came a little bit earlier today because we're having little mom days out. So <laughs> going to do a little shop, some food, nice walk. It's not raining. It's not sunny, but it's not like freezing. I feel like I'm always like a a weather reporter <laughs> in my vlog, like as if they care about the weather. But it's a nice solid Today. seven. <laughs> this one still has like the beautiful flooring, a nice big mirror, but it has two single beds, so perfect for us. Some artwork, a window, TV, table, really everything you need. So we're really not in the hotel room at all. We're just here to sleep, so it's perfect. And the bathroom's actually really nice. Subway tiling, um, and then the products I use are from Rituals, which is not really, really pretty. Hi! <laughs> We're in Dublin city center, and we stopped because of the smell. Like, I'm already kind of hungry, but Gino's gelato. Oh, look at this, Hi. guys. Thank you. Naturally, after a little afternoon of shopping, where are we? Zizi, we love Zizi. Well, we had pizza, spaghetti bolognese, starters, you had a cocktail, I had a mocktail. We're living our life. We're living our best so life. <laughs> All right. I've never you have some, smoked. You have some questions oh, that we need answered. Um, after a really busy day <laughs> of shopping and eating, we ate so much. Like, oh, Don't whoa. Tell them. Like, pizza there? I know, I'm gonna actually have some more. Do you want some more? Yeah, probably. Yeah. We're both like really bad with dairy as well. So yeah. that's what I was gonna say. We're both dairy. <laughs> like so. smallest <laughs> room, but <laughs> Christina has a is it called a Mac Pro card? Yeah, that's when you're a really good makeup artist. They give you a plugging. Plugging. <laughs> with Christina <laughs> At with Christina Campbell <laughs> underscore. Is there an underscore? No, no, no. Oh. Drop the underscore. Anyways, we went to Mac because she has a card that gives you thirty or thirty five percent off. Thirty five. 35% off, which I'm gonna take advantage of that and get another lipstick that I don't need, which is 411, mm, this is one for you to pronounce. <laughs> Anyways, it's one of their new collection ones and it has like a little bit of a tint in it, but it's really hydrating. And it's really soft, pinky nude color. Oh, it's really pretty. Why is this one for me to pronounce? Like, what even is this? Lysis Fairy? 
I thought I should know. It's a Love Me Love Me lipstick. So I, I believe she said it was a new collection, didn't she? Like it was on the new area. And then this one is a powder kiss lipstick because I always am gravitated towards those like soft, like brownie pink nudes. And I was like, I need like a spring color that's like not red, not bright coral, but like something that like gives a pop to my face without it being like dramatic. So she picked this one up and I honestly thought she was picking up like a brick red color. Then she put it on and it's in the shade Stay Curious 923 and it's so pretty. Like, isn't it like, it's like a true spring color. Like it yeah. was genuinely like a soft muted coral. That's the reason I say it looks like you almost patted it on. Yeah, but she like, she like put it on. Like it was like a full application and it was so beautiful. So I'll show you guys. I don't think I'll wear it tomorrow, but I'll show you guys in a upcoming video maybe a spring makeup video and then i got a blush i was just really wanting like baby pink color like kept putting like baby pink whenever we would go into like a um, makeup store i kept putting like baby pink everywhere so i was like that's the color i want to embrace in the spring so she picked out this mac mineralized blush in dainty and it's very much a baby doll pink it has a soft shimmer in it which is nice because i normally get mac blushes that are um matte but you can see it's like it's like pink. And then we were in um, Space NK and RMS is there and I've been really, I've had a couple of things in my saved list of what I really wanted um, this year and one of them was the Uncover App and it's a, it says a corrector. It's basically like a concealer but you can like put it a little bit anywhere and I got it in the shade 22. Really, really, really beautiful, great coverage but I really wanted their lip tint lip cheek thing it's a you can use it on your lips and your cheeks either in sublime or demure and i tried on sublime um because elena davis and like raves about it and it's beautiful but it was very blue baby pink like too pale almost for me because i do like to wear a little bit of a face tan i thought it was you thought it was like too bubble gummy on me didn't mm. you where demure had like the softest darker undertone it was still like a baby pink but it was just more wearable with like my situation um and I just thought it didn't look as like you know Barbie it was so pretty but both of them are sold out <laughs> we're just gonna chill we've been chilling I'm gonna have some more pizza I'm out of breath and have I been sitting this entire time I'm gonna blame it on the pregnancy <laughs> I guess like I should not be out of breath but um I'll catch up with you guys in the morning good night good morning everyone <laughs> We are up and ready to go. It's 9.15. I've just put my hair in a ponytail because it doesn't really matter what it looks like because Sue will be doing it anyways. But I did do my makeup and I did it a little bit more like photo appropriate. So I have like full face foundation. I baked. I did everything. I have individual lashes on. And my lip is the new lip that I bought that the one that we couldn't pronounce. But I put it with um, Bombshell Liner from Huda Beauty. And I'm really feeling it really like it. I'm just wearing a, a white tank top, but it's so cute. It's like a ribbed one and it's stretchy and I got it from ASOS. It was like five pounds or six pounds. I'll link it down below if they're still available, but really cute and just size down if you want it a little bit more fitted. And then these jeans were from, maybe I'll just show you in the big mirror because I feel like this never works out when I show you like that. These jeans were from my trip to Canada in November and they were too big for me then, but they work perfectly now. So Guys, keep your <laughs> bigger clothes for when you're halfway through your pregnancy because it definitely works. So 19 weeks and I still got a little bit of room and we're happy because my least favorite thing in pregnancy is maternity jeans. I just feel like they all look really yeah. ugly, but what can you do? I'm going to have to find some that I actually do like instead of wearing leggings for the next X amount of weeks. So if you have good pregnancy jeans that like I think I prefer the ones with like the higher band not like the bands at the side like I like one that like covers your bump a little bit for some extra support let me know in the link below I think H&M was like a highly recommended one and then has anyone tried Blanky is it Blanky I don't know they have like a lot of maternity to wear and it's really cute and just minimal and simple so yeah I'm gonna get a cab and head over there and I'll see you guys when I get to the salon it's at the space hair and soul uh, if you follow them on Instagram in Dublin, like they're amazing at hair, so the salon looks beautiful, but they have a beautiful Instagram page just for like hair and spo anyways. <laughs> you want to be in it? <laughs> What's your name? Marco. Marco. Yeah, hello. Hi, are you here for the class? I am, yes. Well, we're here at the space. Yes. Hair, is it hair and soul hair salon? Yes. 
and Dublin. in Dublin. Where are you from? Brazil. 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 I'm from Canada. Um, so yeah, we're hair models, Melissa and I. And Sue is doing my hair. I'll link her down below. And you're getting Emma. Emma Emily <laughs> doing your hair. Um, and like I'm excited. It's gonna be subtle. I think it's for the whole class that they're teaching is like subtle changes for a little bit more of a maintainable. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> You're just gonna have to see because I don't know what's happening. <laughs> we are in wash mode. We don't have any toner on or anything, but I'm liking where this is going, but they're on to their brunette models. Where am I pointing? Over there right now. So we're just waiting to get, what do they call it, glossed? Yeah, glossed. Glossed, it's like basically another term for toning and then shadow rooting and then wash and blow dry and then we'll be done. Hey guys, so literally right after my hair, which I feel like is hard to tell in the night light, but I love it. She did like fun front framing, like highlights, like some low lights, shadowing, root situations. Like, I'm a big fan. It's like really hard to see like the actual color of it all, but it's super low maintenance because it can grow out because of the root shadow. So if you're a blonde, but you don't want to like go to the hairdresser every six to eight weeks, get a root shadow and that's like the best thing to prolong blonde. But like right after, everyone like wants a picture of the hair and then she, I had to get a picture and then literally got in the cab, got back to the hotel, um, grabbed the car because we were done a little earlier than I thought and Dublin traffic at like 4.30 or 5 is like insane. So we got out of Dublin like city center by four, which was great. So we just like rushed. I didn't even think about my like <laughs> vlogging camera to show you guys anything. So very sorry about that. But I really love this. Like this will lighten a little bit because this is a little bit of a, a, like a toner or whatever. So that always lightens into like whatever your natural root color is anyways. But because there's like low lights and shadowing in the back underneath area, it'll all grow up really, really naturally and easy, like no lines or anything, which I'm a fan of. So thank you so much, Sue, for doing my hair. I love it. And it's just like a fresher, nicer color. Like it was getting very yellowy and a little brassy there. So happy, but I'm home now. Also, I forgot to show you these really cute earrings. They're from Betty and Biddy. I love them. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm out of breath <laughs> like usual. But yeah, I'm gonna just end it here because I'm exhausted. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.